Reverend Insanity. Chapter 711, Giving Up on Possession. Cranes cried out, flying beautifully in the sky, displaying their elegant appearances. As the wind blew gently, the trees on Fayhe Mountain were swaying lightly. The sun was high in the sky, but the sunlight could not penetrate into this dark gloomy underground secret room. The underground secret room was plain and simple, the surroundings were stone walls and other than the stone bed at the center, there was nothing. Moist water vapor slipped into the cracks of the walls as moss grew on them. On the stone bed, there was a rotten and ruined body of a young rank 5 Gu master. It was Gu Yu Fang Zheng. In order to detect Fang Yuan's location, coordinating with He Fong Yang to attack Hu Immortal Blessed Land, Fang Zheng was plotted against by Lord Sky Crane and lost control of the failed blood demon Flower Gu, causing him to lose too much blood and his soul went on the verge of collapse as he entered a deep state of unconsciousness. You want to revive Fang Zheng? He Feng Yang was right beside the stone bed, looking at the spirit incubating flea which was floating in front of him. Fang Zheng's master was inside the spirit incubating flea Lord Sky Crane's soul. At this moment, a firm voice came from within the flea. Yes, Lord, I am willing to give up this possession opportunity. Please save Fang Zheng instead. He Feng Yang turned his gaze towards Fang Zheng who had fainted, saying softly, The injuries to his body might seem terrifying, but it is not a big concern, even without my help, the sect has many ways to heal him. The problem is his soul. He did the blood sense forcefully this time, it caused a huge burden on his soul, his soul was only a step away from collapsing. Actually, the current situation is most suitable for you to possess his body. This body has a grade aptitude and a rank 5 aperture. His soul is extremely weak so if you undergo possession now, you would win the contest between souls without doubt. Wasn't possession your goal all along? Lord Sky Crane laughed bitterly. Ever since he used the method to harm Fang Zheng, Lord Sky Crane had been recalling Fang Zheng's appearance and all the memories of their experiences had been flashing through his mind. Fang Zheng's purity, his pursuit of justice, it reminded him of his younger self. Fang Zheng's desire for revenge was so similar to his own experiences. Subordinate's original plan was to possess Fang Zheng. But, now in my heart, I feel guilt and reluctance. According to logic, he has the bloodline of First Gen Gu Yu, yet he has been calling me master and trusts me, he had never thought I would harm him. He believes in justice, just like I did in the past. If I kill him and succeed in the possession, I would have to live within his shell in the future, how would I face myself?" Lord Sky Crane sighed. He Feng Yang was silent for a while, before he raised his hand and placed it on Fang Zheng's forehead. A green light that was gentle as water dripped down from He Feng Yang's palm, spreading all over Fang Zheng's body. Everywhere the green light reached, his swollen flesh and scars healed rapidly at a visible rate. After several breaths of time, Fang Zheng's body fully recovered, his breathing relaxed, but he was still unconscious. I have already healed his physical body and stabilized his soul. As a reward for being my subordinate, I will give you another opportunity, Sky Crane. You do not need to give up on the possession chance, I will give you some time to consider it, Think it through properly, He Feng Yang said. Lord, He Feng Yang retracted his hand. The possession technique we have is not complete, it originated from Northern Plains. Right now, our sex old Lord Qin Yang has followed Feng Ji Ji into Northern Plains. He had been assigned several missions from the sectum. One of them is to collect more information and improve the possession technique. When he returns to the sect Sky Crane, you will have a higher chance of succeeding in the possession. By that point, you would have already reflected thoroughly on it, give me the answer then. Lord. Without waiting for Lord Sky Crane to finish speaking, He Feng Yang waved his sleeves and his figure vanished. Who immortal blessed land in an underground cave. The wisdom light halo that was shining in many colors shone on Fang Yuan's face. Fang Yuan's brows were tightly locked, his expression was grim and uncertain. Gah. Suddenly, he opened his mouth, 
spitting a mouthful of green zombie blood. At the same time, countless joyful wills in his mind collapsed and disintegrated. This was the first time Fang Yuan had gotten injured from using the Light of Wisdom. Fang Yuan stepped out of the Light of Wisdom, finding a mushroom nearby and sitting on it like a bench. He stretched out one arm to wipe the zombie blood around his mouth, as he inspected his mind while enduring the huge pain in his head. His mind was experiencing tremors, thoughts disintegrated on their own the moment they were created. The surrounding boundaries of his mind had mild cracks on them. This was the backlash due to Fang Yuan's forceful thinking. At this moment, as long as Fang Yuan had a thought, intense pain would assault his mind. He shut his eyes and stopped all his thinking, he was like a rock statue without any movement. A while later, he slowly opened his eyes, inspecting his mind again. The tremors had stopped in his mind, but the boundaries still had remaining cracks on them. The speed of his thought generation was slower than before, but they would not collapse upon creation. That was to say, Fang Yuan could think again. This injury was no doubt a valuable experience, Fang Yuan learned many things from it. Wisdom path deductions have a risk as well, one can get injured. Just like strength path, overexerting oneself would cause them to pull their muscles, and their tendons might even break. This time, I was trying to deduce a difficult question of the star path. I used a large amount of joyful wills and the unlimited inspiration from the light of wisdom to deduce countless possibilities. It surpassed the limits and endurance level of my mind, thus I got injured. I thought I could use the power of wisdom goo to deduce the recipe of star shoot goo. But now it seems that my star path foundation is too low, the unlimited inspiration can give me countless possibilities and directions, but I will need to deduce every single possibility. At the same time, during the process of deduction, more choices would be generated. Star Shoot Gu was Star Lord Wan Xiang's self-created goo worm. Using large numbers of star rain goo, small numbers of spring wind goo, as well as many other goo worms, one could assemble the killer move Spring Star Rain. The effect of Spring Star Rain was to increase the growth rate of plants. Fang Yuan used it many times to nourish his star fragment grass, but Star Shoot Goo was a consumable goo right now, he could only purchase it from Star Lord Wan Xiang, and Star Lord Wan Xiang was making a huge profit out of this goo. Fang Yuan had wanted to use the Light of Wisdom to reverse engineer the Star Shoot Goo's recipe, but he did not succeed and even got himself injured. Although Star Shoot Goo is a mortal goo, it had been tampered with by Star Lord Wan Xiang, the recipe is very hard to reverse refine. Unless my Star Path Realm reaches master level, if not, it will be hard to succeed. Fang Yuan had a realization. Star Path Master Level Realm, it represented a foundation in Star Path and could greatly reduce the possibilities when undergoing deductions. It could help Fang Yuan reach the correct answer much quicker. Fang Yuan made an estimate based on the difficulty. If reverse refining Star Shoot Goo's recipe requires Star Path Master Level attainment, then researching an entirely new Goo recipe to create the Starlight Firefly Goo would be even harder. Most likely, Star Path Grand Master Realm is needed. As for modifying Du Min Jun's Star Path inheritance and creating an entire new Star Path Goo Worm to amplify the effects of attacking, defending, movement, and healing in Star Path Goo Worms, that would be even harder. At least quasi great grandmaster realm attainment is required. Starlight Firefly Goo was a necessity in activating Stargate Goo, it would not hurt to have more of it. But in Du Min Jun's inheritance, a bit of Star Goo, brilliance of two stars Goo, three stars in the sky Goo, four stars Cube Goo, five stars Align Goo, these could amplify the offense of Star Path Goo Worms. If this was circulated, Star Path Goo would definitely become much more popular, it would even have a mild effect on the current status of the different paths. Fang Yuan's original plan was to reverse refine the Goo recipe of Star Shoot Goo and Starlight Firefly Goo. One was to escape from his reliance on Star Lord Wan Xiang, but also to have a method to obtain even more Starlight Firefly Goo for his use of Stargates. In addition, 
raising the effects of a bit of star goo, brilliance of two stars goo, three stars in the sky goo. This series of goo worms would help in developing a whole new star path killer move that would suit Fang Yuan's needs and raise his battle strength. But after making an attempt, Fang Yuan knew that this was not feasible yet. Even if he had the light of wisdom and had unlimited inspiration, his refinement path realm was master level, his star path realm was merely ordinary, it was hard for his plans to work. It seems that to raise my battle strength, I have to focus on my strengths and make use of my advantages. Fang Yuan assessed himself, he was a blood path grandmaster, strength path grandmaster, flying quasi grandmaster, refinement path master, enslavement path master, as well as transformation path master. He first eliminated blood path. Blood path Gu immortals were heavily targeted by everyone because blood path cultivation focused on harming others to raise one's own battle strength. The righteous and demonic paths were both unwilling to face such a huge threat like blood path Gu immortals. Only during the five regions chaotic war, when the law and order of the regions go into chaos, would blood path emerge again. Although Fang Yuan had blood deity's remnant recipe, he did not want to deduce the completed recipe yet. He did not have the financial capability to refine blood deity immortal Gu now. Furthermore, the blood path inheritance in his previous life had yet to mature, he could not retrieve it yet. Next, Fang Yuan eliminated Strength Path. Strength Path had once flourished in the past, at present, it had already heavily declined. Even though there were incredible geniuses like Chu Du, it was unlikely for the past glory of Strength Path to reappear. The might and prosperity of a path not only relied on genius Gu Masters and Gu Immortals, they also relied on resources. In the present era, the resources for Strength Path had mostly gone extinct or were extremely rare. Strength Path had little prospects, many Gu recipes were lost, and the future was grim. Even though Fang Yuan was a Strength Path Immortal Zombie, he did not want to walk on this path. The reason he chose Strength Path was because the conditions back then were very convenient, he would use it as a springboard to change to another path in the future. He later became a Strength Path Immortal Zombie because he was left with no choice in 88 True Young Building. Unless Fang Yuan was like Hai Lu Lan with multiple Strength Path Immortal Gu, who can raise her battle strength using these Immortal Gu. But such a situation was not feasible for Fang Yuan. Blood Path and Strength Path were dead ends, Flying Quasi Grandmaster was merely part of his battle proficiency, Refinement Path did not excel in fighting, Fang Yuan's only options were Enslavement Path and Transformation Path. But Enslavement Path needed beast groups. At the level of Gu Immortals, ordinary beasts were of little use. Their core beast groups would be elevated from mutated beast kings and beast emperors to desolate beasts. Fang Yuan used the light of wisdom and thought about it for a long time. Three days later, he finally made a breakthrough in Transformation Path. Chapter 712 Lion Fur Armor, Transplanting Bat Wings Time flew by quickly and in a blink of an eye, ten days had passed in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Fang Yuan was flying in the air. Hair Armor his thoughts shifted, his hair grew wildly, and instantly condensed into a malevolent-looking pitch-black armor full of spikes. Icy drill stardust. Fang Yuan pinched at the air with his five fingers, a ball of starlight formed on his hand. The starlight constantly let out crackling sounds, looking closely inside, one could discover there were countless small specks of icy drills colliding and exploding non-stop. Fang Yuan slowly pressed this ball of starlight into the hair armor on his chest. The hair armor lasted for a few breaths before it began to be damaged. A dozen or so breaths later, the surroundings of the damaged area were dyed azure blue, and the blue frost was spreading everywhere. Twenty breaths later, the hair armor completely shattered, and there was a small hole on Fang Yuan's chest. This was completely within Fang Yuan's expectations. He had merged Du Min Jun's inheritance into Icy Drill Stardust. This would sell for four immortal essence stones in Treasure Yellow Heaven. 
and the defensive killer move hair armor would only be worth around two and a half immortal essence stones. The starlight on his palm dissipated, Fang Yuan willed and activated hair armor again. However, the hair armor this time was different, it was a new and improved version, having gone through many days of experimentation. The hair armor transformed quickly. The useless malevolent spikes were removed, the black iron-like luster before also turned into bronze. The primary cause for this was Fang Yuan perfectly merging large numbers of golden lion fur goo into the original foundation of hair armor. Golden Lion Fur Goo was a rank 5 mortal goo that could let goo masters grow golden lion fur, increasing their defense and having an even higher increase in resistance to metal path attacks. Several breaths later, the original black iron spiked hair armor was gone, and replacing it was a smooth bronze armor which was twice the thickness of the black armor. The helmet had turned into the shape of a lion roaring with an open mouth, revealing Fang Yuan's face inside. The defensive ability had also increased by 150%. If it was defending against metal path attacks, the defensive power would increase by a whole 200%. Fang Yuan made a lump of starlight again and pressed it towards his chest area like before. The stardust drilled endlessly into the hair armor, but after a whole dozen or so breaths had gone by, the starlight was completely used up and merely a crack appear on the hair armor. Let's call it Lion Fur Armor. Fang Yuan mumbled to himself before raising his eight arms and letting out eight lumps of starlight. The starlight flew to the sky and gathered into a large lump. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, charging into the large lump of stardust with his Lion Fur Armor. The icy drill stardust constantly produced tiny explosions which impacted against Fang Yuan's Lion Fur Armor from all directions. Fang Yuan constantly maintained the lion fur armor killer move, rapidly restoring any cracks that appeared. He maintained it till the starlight lump dissipated and then flew down. There was not even a trace of a crack on the lion fur armor. Such recovery ability is about twice that of before. If placed in treasure yellow heaven, this could sell for four and a half immortal essence stones. Lion Fur Armor was one of the accomplishments Fang Yuan had made these days. He returned to Dang Hun Palace, where Hu Immortal Land Spirit was maintaining connecting Heaven Gu, paying attention to Treasure Yellow Heaven. How is the situation? Fang Yuan asked. Master, the other party is still insisting on four immortal essence stones and shows no signs of lowering it. Little Hu Immortal Land Spirit replied. Fang Yuan wanted to buy a pair of bat desolate beast wings. The other party had killed this bat desolate beast and was putting its corpse on sale in treasure yellow heaven. Fang Yuan had asked for price before, but the other party had asked for four immortal essence stones just for this pair of bat wings and their attitude was firm, not willing to lower it. Four immortal essence stones was no doubt an expensive price. Back then, when Fang Yuan bought a six-headed snake skeleton, he had only had to pay three immortal essence stones. According to the normal price, it should be two and a half at most. Fang Yuan personally activated Divine Sense Gu and used the identity of Eight-Arm Immortal to get in touch with the seller. I am willing to pay three immortal essence stones to buy this pair of bat wings. The seller's will, however, refused, I'm not selling, not selling, the lowest is at least four immortal essence stones. Fang Yuan snorted. Sir is too greedy, look at how damaged these desolate beast wings are, they would normally only sell for two and a half immortal essence stones. If not for me wanting to research some new goo and coincidentally happening to need this material, I would not have even asked. The seller's will's tone softened and it sighed. I am also helpless, my losses were too severe when hunting this desolate beast. This desolate beast's blood had already flowed out and my main body also suffered heavy injuries, if I don't sell it for this price, my finances will collapse and it might even lead to a delay in healing my injuries. Whether you live or die, is that my problem? Also, why would I believe your one-sided words? Three immortal essence stones, are you selling or not? Fang Yuan said coldly, not selling. 
Fang Yuan immediately withdrew his divine sense. After a while, he commanded Little Hu Immortal Land Spirit to inquire about the price and show a stance of being impatient. How about this? I will take out three immortal essence stones to buy your bat wings. Say it, are you selling or not? The sellers will hesitated this time, but still refused in the end. This pair of wings is the most valuable part of the whole desolate beast corpse. If Sir only wants to buy the wings, it won't be easy for me to sell the remaining parts. If you are sincerely thinking of buying, how about you take out five immortal essence stones to buy this whole desolate beast corpse? Little who immortal talked with Fang Yuan and replied, I only need the wings, what will I do with the other parts? I have wasted enough time already. Three immortal essence stones are already a lot. All right, I shall give you three and a half immortal essence stones. This is my final bottom line. If you are still not selling, then forget it. The seller's will was clearly shaken, and it replied with hesitation. This, let me consider it. The land spirit hastened him. My patience has limits, I will give you five breaths of time. Any longer, and I might just take back my offer. Four breaths passed before the seller's will heaved a long sigh. He also knew that although there was a high demand for desolate beast corpses, but his price was indeed high. Gu immortals were shrewd people, there were few that would spend money casually. All right, I will sell. The seller's will was just replying when a divine sense interrupted him. Slow down, I want this bat desolate beast's corpse. I will give you five immortal essence stones. A. Sir is immortal monkey king. This change naturally made the seller very happy. If he sold the bat wings to Fang Yuan for three and a half immortal essence stones, then trying to sell the remaining parts of the corpse, which were extremely damaged for one immortal essence stone, would be demanding a very high price. Now, immortal monkey king she lay cut in and was willing to pay five immortal essence stones, the seller was naturally willing to accept this transaction. Wait a second, we have already made the deal. Immortal Monkey King, what do you think you are doing by suddenly butting in? Who Immortal Land Spirit refused to accept this? What deal? She lay scoffed. Who are you kidding? Does business in Treasure Yellow Heaven pay attention to first come, first serve? The item will naturally go to whoever pays the higher price. Since the transaction has not been carried out, there is no deal. After saying that, she lay then said to the seller, Hey, this deal will earn you a great profit, why are you not quickly finishing the transaction? The seller's will was just about to nod when Hu Immortal Land Spirit obtained Fang Yuan's instructions and immediately prevented it. Slow down, I will pay five and a half immortal essence stones. HMPH, only adding half an immortal essence stone, aren't you too petty? I will pay seven immortal essence stones. She lay said with a rich and overbearing attitude. Who immortal land spirit's tone immediately became gloomy. Since it is so, I will pay eight immortal essence stones. Eight, she lay laughed, then I will pay nine. Nine and a half. Who immortal land spirit immediately quoted. That seller's will had never expected such a change and was already overjoyed. She lay was dazed before laughing loudly. All right, who immortal, as expected of someone doing the business of guts goo, you have so much money. I don't want to contend with a junior. Just a mere damaged desolate beast corpse, I hope you can be happy when you take it. The divine sense left directly after laughing heartily. Who, Lord who immortal, you meant what you said, right? The sellers will wore a fawning smile as he said while stammering. From the looks of it, he had not lied before. He was indeed a poor rank six goo immortal. HMPH, business needs to be done with sincerity, would my words be a lie? Who immortal land spirit coldly snorted. The two finished the transaction. The seller received nine and a half immortal essence stones, while Fang Yuan obtained a bat desolate beast's corpse. After this transaction, Fang Yuan checked his wealth again, he had 172 Immortal Essence Stones and 77 Beads of Green Grape Immortal Essence. So far, Fang Yuan had already sold the sixth batch of Gutsku. 
It was an average of one batch per month, and every batch gave him 48 immortal essence stones in profit. Over these six months, Fang Yuan had completed one transaction of an immortal goo recipe with Lang Ya Lan spirit, earning over 20 immortal essence stones. But he had fed the eight desolate beasts earlier and converted large numbers of immortal essence stones into green grape immortal essence. He also consumed green grape immortal essence to reverse refined star path goo recipes, which ended in failure, and finally, to make a breakthrough using transformation path, he improved on his killer moves. He had not only improved his defensive killer move hair armor to lion fur armor, but also upgraded light illusion bat wings by a great degree. But to complete the new light illusion bat wings, he needed to transplant a pair of real bat wings onto his immortal zombie body. Because of this, Fang Yuan did not hesitate on spending a large amount to buy this bat desolate beast's corpse. Immortal Monkey King Shi Lei, making me spend three times the price to buy this bat corpse. I will remember this. Shi Lei was a higher up of combat immortal sect, which was one of the ten great ancient sects. During his previous life's five regions chaotic war, after Feng Jiuji died, he replaced Feng Jiuji as the most powerful rank seven in Central Continent. He was an earth path expert but cultivated transformation path as well, having secretly obtained several inheritances of reckless savage demon venerable. Fang Yuan thought of raising the price of Guts Gu to combat immortal sect, but he dispelled this thought after pondering about it. For the next half a month, he concentrated on handling the bat desolate beast's corpse. He carefully cut apart the bat wings and did more than a dozen sessions of meticulous treatment and maintenance. He then used fire path and strength path goo worms to constantly temper the bat wings. As a result, the extremely wide bat wings gradually became more condensed and small. Finally, after Fang Yuan endured intense pain, he finally succeeded in transplanting the bat wings onto his back. Chapter 713 True Solid Bat Wings A wind wolf had its head lowered, its four limbs were stealthily moving as it traveled in the lush grassland. The prey that it was targeting was a pink flower rabbit. The rabbit's two ears were standing on end, listening to every movement nearby. The rabbit's head was buried in the flowers, eating pollen as food. As a cool breeze blew on this mountain, flowers blossomed in this lush greenery, giving off waves of fragrant smells. The wind wolf slowly got closer, but the pink flower rabbit had no idea. Suddenly, a black shadow flew past the ground rapidly. The pink flower rabbit was shocked, it raised its head. Even though Hu Immortal Blessed Land had no eagle groups, it sprinted away in fear, managing to survive this trial, causing the wind wolf to fail in its hunt. Fang Yuan, who was flying in the air, observed all of this. He could not help but start to think, Right now, I have ample funds, and my own blessed land has turned into a dead aperture. I might as well manage this Hu Immortal Blessed Land first. After the journey in northern plains, the beast groups in who immortal blessed land had fallen in numbers, becoming very sparse. Right now, I am already selling Guts Goo, the Rockman transaction is simply unnecessary. Who immortal was an enslavement path, Goo immortal, who immortal blessed land has a grassland landscape, it is most suited for raising fox groups. If I raise the vitality of who immortal blessed land and make it flourish with life when I revive, I would gain much greater benefits if I fuse this who immortal blessed land. Thinking so, Fang Yuan inspected the bat wings on his back. This was the third time he had tested out flying with these newly transplanted bat wings on his back. The processed bat wings, if spread fully, were not even half of Fang Yuan's arm length. They were yellow-brown in color and were quite petite, they seemed much less impressive than the prior light illusion bat wings. But Fang Yuan did not care about appearance, he only looked at its value and usefulness. The new light illusion bat wings gave Fang Yuan almost double the speed boost, at the same time, the duration of his flight had greatly increased. After all, the bat wings back then were only a phantom, the bat wings now were real physical wings. The flesh, skin, fur, bones, and blood were all condensed and refined. 
There were also many goo worms inside these wings. The goo worms residing in the bat wings were used to activate the newly modified movement killer move, Light Illusion Bat Wings. No, right now, using the name Light Illusion Bat Wings for this killer move is no longer appropriate. I should call it True Solid Bat Wings. Fang Yuan created a new name for this newly modified killer move. He was more pleased with this movement killer move True Solid Bat Wings than the Lion Fur Armor. If this movement killer move was sold in Treasure Yellow Heaven, it could be sold for six immortal essence stones or more. That was because true solid bat wings had much potential left. One pair of bat wings was not its limit. It could transplant three pairs of bat wings at most. The origin of these wings should be at least desolate beasts. Of course, ancient desolate beasts and immemorial desolate beasts would be even better. If Fang Yuan could transplant three pairs of desolate beast bat wings on his back, his speed would be at least three times faster. Light Illusion Bat Wings was the most widely spread movement killer move during the Five Regions Chaotic War due to its price-to-value ratio. On that basis, raising one's speed by three times as much would be even more impressive. Even though it could not compare to movement immortal goo like Worldly Wave Trace or Rising Azure Cloud, if Fang Yuan met Plump Lady again, her light sand escape would not allow her to run from Fang Yuan's assault. As the winds blew intensely behind him, Fang Yuan flapped with his wings and flew up into the sky. After flying to a high altitude in midair, Fang Yuan closed his eyes and felt the sensation of the air currents blowing on the bat wings silently. His immortal zombie body could not feel any pain, his sense of touch was nearly non-existent. This was a strength and also a weakness. When Fang Yuan transplanted the bat wings, he spent a lot of effort in order to retain the sense of pain and touch that the bat wings had. Only by doing this could he have a clearer and realistic feeling of the air when he flaps his wings to feel the strength of the air currents and to sense the state of the wings. Losing the sense of pain numbed him and made Fang Yuan fight more fiercely. But flying was another matter. Flying required meticulous control, especially when Fang Yuan's flying attainment had reached Quasi Grandmaster level. Only by regaining his sense of pain and touch could he truly display his actual flying attainment. If it was a pair of zombified wings, the feeling would be very vague, especially in intense battles when he needed to rely on the wings, sensitive nerves would allow him to react and adapt more easily instead of being rough and careless. With a boost in movement strength, I will be able to advance or retreat at will. After I get three pairs of wings, true solid bat wings will be an exceptional mortal killer move, it would only lose out to worldly wave trace immortal goo. Fang Yuan was a strength path goo immortal, he obtained a strength path immortal body. Worldly wave trace immortal goo had the law of water path, when Fang Yuan uses this immortal goo, water path and strength path do not work together perfectly, there was a problem of them restricting each other. If a fire path goo immortal uses worldly wave trace immortal goo, his speed would be even slower than Fang Yuan. The most suitable would be water path goo immortals when they use this same goo, by expending the same amount of immortal essence, they would achieve greater speed. Most importantly, true solid bat wings was a mortal killer move. Compared to using worldly wave trace immortal goo, it had a much greater value to cost ratio. This was the intelligence of humans. Using the combination of many mortal goo, they could achieve an effect that was only somewhat below immortal goo. Using goo, nurturing goo, and refining goo, they were extremely profound and deep. The corpse of a desolate beast is rarely seen, even if goo immortals sell new beast corpses in treasure yellow heaven, they might not be bats. To collect two more pairs of bat wings, I would need to actively seek them. It seems that now, I should take some risks and go to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. The immortal aperture of a rank 8 or 9 was known as a Grotto Heaven. The owner of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven was a rank 8 goo immortal from 1,700 years ago, Seven Star Child. Seven Star Child had died long ago, 
During Fang Yuan's previous life, one day, starry sky grotto heaven fell from high up in central continent, it broke up into tens of immortal aperture fragments and was scattered all over central continent. Fang Yuan had already become a Gu immortal, he could not enter these grotto heaven fragments. These fragment worlds of the grotto heaven were already very fragile, Fang Yuan's cultivation level was too high and if he tried entering one, it would destroy the extremely unstable Grotto Heaven fragment. Thankfully, Fang Yuan had a bunch of elite subordinates in Blood Wing Demon Sect. After competing with several Gu Immortals, they split a relatively large Grotto Heaven fragment world between themselves. Fang Yuan and the other Immortals sent their respective Gu Master Disciples or subordinates towards the Grotto Heaven fragment world to explore and find resources. Fang Yuan left a will in each of his capable subordinates' minds to direct and supervise them. Thus, he was rather familiar with the scenery inside Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. In this life, currently, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven is still high up in the sky, it had not fallen or broken into pieces. The scenery of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven in my mind will allow me to use fixed immortal travel to enter the Grotto Heaven in advance to take the resources inside. I remember that there were a number of desolate beasts inside the Grotto Heaven, there were even ancient desolate beasts, and among them, there was a Star Demon Bat Desolate Beast. My goal this time is to go and kill the Star Demon Bat and obtain the wings. At the same time, I can check the situation and see if I can capture a desolate beast and bring it to Lang Yaland's spirit. Fang Yuan planned in his mind. There were still many places in Fang Yuan's memories that were similar to this starry sky grotto heaven. But for some, now was not the time yet, and others were simply too dangerous. Starry sky grotto heaven was the immortal aperture of a rank 8 Gu immortal. It had not reached the point of breaking down like in Fang Yuan's previous life, it was still very strong now. In my previous life, I only sent people to indirectly explore the grotto heaven fragment world. By that time, the heavenly spirit was no longer around. But in this life, if I go now, the heavenly spirit is sure to be alive. It can summon the entire defensive power of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. If I had not become an immortal zombie, I would not have the qualifications to explore it. Fang Yuan did not know too much about the current Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. He could only deduce it based on his previous life's experiences. In his previous life, he was not the person who benefited the most from this opportunity. It was a rank 8 immortal zombie who rose up as a result of this. The ten great ancient sects which had been extremely forceful all along suffered a loss under the hands of this immortal zombie. Next, this immortal zombie entered the Central Continent Zombie Alliance branch and easily defeated the branch leader, becoming the one in charge and calling himself Star Constellation Immortal Zombie. He had been the cause of many incidents during the Five Regions Chaotic War. He was an overlord that could hold his own in his territory. As for the real starry sky heavenly spirit, Fang Yuan did not see it and did not know the conditions for the Grotto Heaven to belong to a new owner. A few days later, Hai Lu Lan brought Strength Kai Immortal Gu and entered Hu Immortal Blessed Land using a Stargate. Next, in Fang Yuan's stone nest, she and Fang Yuan, together with the thousands of hairy men, refined the eighth batch of air sac Gu. After this, Hai Lu Lan did not leave immediately, instead she stayed in Hu Immortal Blessed Land and listened to Fang Yuan's information on Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. With Fang Yuan's current strength, it was rather dangerous to enter Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. Thus, Fang Yuan invited his allies. But Fairy Lai Shan was cooperating with Qin Bai Sheng right now, her Mountain Pledge Gu was having great use at this time. It allowed Qin Bai Sheng to gather his forces and eliminate the enmity of his foes, he was preparing for a Northern Plains auction that was of unprecedented scale. Qin Bai Sheng's compensation to Fairy Lai Shan was an immortal Gu. With such great benefits, Fairy Lai Shan obviously chose Qin Bai Sheng and gave up on working with Fang Yuan this time. As for Tai Bai Yun Sheng, he was with Shark Demon now, entering the sea and exploring Yu Lu Blessed Land. 
even thought Tai Bai Yun Sheng wanted to help his junior brother Fang Yuan. He was afflicted with death sentence awaits immortal Gu and could not split himself into two, there was nothing he could do to help. Only Hai Lu Lan was free now, she agreed with Fang Yuan to explore Starry Sky Grotto Heaven together. According to the Snowy Mountain Alliance, since the two were exploring and taking the risk together, any losses to Hai Lu Lan would not require Fang Yuan to compensate her twice the amount. At the same time, their gains would be split into Fang Yuan getting 60% and Hai Lu Lan getting 40%. After resting for a few days in Hu Immortal Blessed Land, Hai Lu Lan entered Fang Yuan's Immortal Aperture. Fang Yuan tried to activate fixed immortal travel with the image in his mind. He tried for three or four times, but he did not succeed. Fang Yuan was not surprised. The image in his memories, although it was a portion of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, it had already fallen at that time and the scenery had changed drastically. Thankfully, Fang Yuan had many images in his memories. After trying for a dozen times, after he spent more than ten beads of green grape immortal essence, he finally succeeded. With a flash of jade green light, at the next moment, he appeared inside Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. Chapter 714 Fighting Star Desolate Hound They appeared before a thick forest which was verdant and lush, the foot of the mountain was serene and fog filled the place. Fang Yuan had already activated lion fur armor to protect him tightly. He used all his concentration to quickly scan his surroundings and discovered that he had appeared on the waist of a mountain. Surrounding him were tall ancient trees, and even his six-meter tall immortal zombie body could not reach one-third of these giant trees. Raising his head, he gazed at the sky through the opening between the lush leaves. The sky was a tranquil green color. There were six giant shadows of stars in the green sky. They appeared to be six round moons in the color of red, brown, yellow, blue, purple, and white. Fang Yuan opened his immortal aperture, and Hai Lu Lan shortly appeared outside, stepping on the mountain stones. Her eyes flashed with bright light as she looked around, this is inside Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. It is indeed, let's go. The desolate beast that I want to kill, Star Demon Bat, should be nearby. The two did not know the exact location of the Star Demon Bat, thus they casually chose a direction and moved along it. While moving forward, the two used investigative methods to scan around them all the time. After advancing to a Gu Immortal, they had unlimited primeval essence and could use mortal Gu freely. The two had also made ample preparations before they had come here. Although they did not have investigative killer moves, they had prepared large numbers of investigative Gu worms of all paths to not only enhance their vision and hearing, but also to sense the slight tremors when they walked and to smell any odd odors when they breathed. At the same time, they spread out their divine senses to cover their surroundings, attaining completion in all aspects of scouting. Time flowed little by little, but this forest did not seem to have any end. Five minutes have already gone by, there seems to be something wrong. Hai Lu Lan stopped and solemnly asked Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan nodded, saying in a deep voice, Indeed, we have already been in Starry Sky Grotto Heaven for some time now, but haven't actually encountered a single wild beast. There are only trees or fog. Whether we go up the mountain or down, or move in any direction, things all look the same. Hai Lu Lan looked up. Let's fly. The two carefully flew up. The green sky was completely empty. If the two flew high up, they would be very conspicuous and it would be extremely easy for them to be discovered by beast groups and get surrounded. Thus, for safety purposes, Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan had chosen to move along the ground. Right now, the two took the risk to attempt flying, but the result was disappointing. The higher they flew up, the thicker the fog became. Finally, the fog became so thick that they could not even see their own fingers. Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan's investigative methods were greatly restricted in this fog. The two discussed and chose to be cautious, not willing to continue taking this risk, they descended to the ground. Has the starry sky heavenly spirit already begun to target us? 
Hai Lu Lan guessed. The situation here, if it is not a unique law of the grotto heaven, then it is an illusion, quietly disturbing our sense of direction and obstructing our true senses. Unfortunately, I don't have any investigative killer moves. Fang Yuan replied. Don't you have wisdom path methods? Wisdom path is also specialized in resolving these kinds of circumstances. Hai Lu Lan asked while frowning. Fang Yuan shook his head. I indeed have some wisdom path methods, but they are rather special. They cannot deduce directions. How about you? Do you have any investigative killer moves? Hai Lu Lan snorted lightly and raised her two delicate fists. I don't have any investigative killer moves, but I do have offensive killer moves, self-strength. She suddenly punched out with her two fists, sending out majestic fist kai. The fist kai surged all around and rapidly condensed into strength path phantoms. These strength path phantoms had fat bodies like bears with triangular eyes and jagged teeth. It was the male shape Hai Lu Lan had disguised as before. Fang Yuan took a few steps back to give Hai Lu Lan sufficient space. These strength path phantoms pounced at Hai Lu Lan's main body. The phantoms merged together and soon covered Hai Lu Lan, forming a giant strength path phantom. This killer move had astonishing might. Hai Lu Lan had used it before in Northern Plains to destroy the flying bear phantom. She again raised a fist. The giant fist ruthlessly smashed at an ancient tree on the side. The thick and sturdy ancient tree immediately broke into two. The lower half remained at the ground but was shaking intensely, the soil around it splattered to reveal the tree roots. The upper half was directly sent flying, cutting through the wind as it collided with another ancient tree, smashing two to three branches. Boom, boom, boom. Hai Lu Lan punched and kicked, the heavy punches and kicks shook the earth, stones flew, trees toppled down and the fog dispersed. Fang Yuan flew into the sky, his sight was now much more clear. He saw this forest only had the range of a hundred li. He and Hai Lu Lan had been moving in a circle. Outside of this forest, he saw a scene abundant in nature and life, the wild beasts roaming around, the cries of birds and insects, the gurgling of streams and wild flowers swaying with the wind. It seems this forest itself was special. It should be an extinct tree species. Your information source is somewhat dubious. Our entry was actually in this forest. The giant strength path phantom transmitted its divine sense to communicate with Fang Yuan. Even Fang Yuan, with his plentiful experiences from his previous life and broad vision, did not recognize the origin of this kind of tree. He gave a bitter laugh and changed the topic. After the trees became sparse, this forest no longer has the bewilderment effect. We should take some and plant it in our own blessed lands, maybe we can make some profits. There was absolutely no issue with the information source, because he himself was the information supplier. In his previous life, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven had shattered into many parts which then fell towards Central Continent. When Fang Yuan had sent people to explore the Grotto Heaven's fragment world, this forest was already in a different shape, much of it had been damaged, and thus it did not show any special effects. This was a warning to Fang Yuan, although he had previous life's memories, however he had come early to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven in this life, the situation was different, and he could not blindly rely on these memories. The giant strength path phantom gazed at these ancient trees. Even if you had not said it, I intended to do it. When the two had just taken four to five trees, a dog-shaped desolate beast charged down from the top of the mountain. The dog-shaped desolate beast growled, not concealing the fierce glare of its eyes as it looked directly at Hai Lu Lan. Hai Lu Lan's strength path phantom giant was not concealed by the trees and was exceptionally conspicuous. Fang Yuan looked at the source of the growl and saw the desolate beast. Its body was as large as a small hill and glossy azure fur covered it. Whether it was its head, stomach, back, tail, or its limbs, they were all covered with star-shaped stripes. These stripes were emitting faint blue radiance. Fang Yuan recognized this beast with just one glance, immediately reminding Hai Lu Lan. 
This is a star desolate hound, it should be this mountain's overlord. Let's check how powerful the desolate beasts in starry sky grotto heaven are. If it is weak, don't kill it, it is best if we capture it alive, I have other uses for it. Hai Lu Lan frowned. She had an extreme physique strength path immortal body and possessed several great strength path immortal goo. It was not difficult for her to kill a desolate beast, but she still had some difference between the level of capturing a desolate beast alive. However, Fang Yuan continued, You take the lead, I will support. Decided according to the situation, if we can really capture it alive, I will use immortal essence stones to pay you. All right, then let's do it like that. Hai Lu Lan was not an irresolute person. With a loud shout, the giant strength path phantom took large and loud steps as it charged towards the star desolate hound. The star desolate hound fiercely charged down from above and pounced at the giant strength path phantom. Hai Lu Lan was not to be outdone and immediately punched and kicked, clashing with a star desolate hound. The two huge figures rolled down from partway up the mountain towards the foot, like a rolling gourd. It was like a giant compactor had steamrolled through a path, as the trees were toppled, protruding boulders were smashed and beast and birds who had not time to escape were crushed into paste. Fang Yuan flapped his bat wings and flew down. Eight lumps of starlight condensed separately on his eight monstrous claws, but they did not crash down yet. Hai Lu Lan's giant strength path phantom was rolling and turning around at times as it clashed with the star desolate hound like a rolling wheel. The fight was fierce, but the situation was still not decided. The attacks moved so quickly that even an old demon like Fang Yuan was not able to find an opportunity to interfere. Rumble. Dust flew up. The giant phantom and the desolate beast rolled down to the foot of the mountain before finally stopping. The star desolate hound fiercely pounced on the giant phantom. It raised its head and opened its mouth, revealing the snow-white canines that were as sharp as swords and long as halberds, and bit down. Fang Yuan saw the chance, his eight arms moved, and the eight lumps of starlight that had accumulated enough energy slammed down. Bam bam bam. A series of explosions resounded, the star desolate hound furiously barked, its attack was interrupted. The giant hound head shook in every direction, flinging off the starlight lumps. However, Hai Lu Lan obtained the critical opportunity due to this, letting out a fierce attack. The giant strength path phantom bent its knee and fiercely struck a crucial part between the star desolate hound's rear legs. Howl! The star desolate hound immediately let out an extremely painful cry. Its giant body fiercely jumped like it had been electrocuted and bounced around in the lush forest. Fang Yuan immediately fluttered over, not giving the star desolate hound any time to recover. He flapped his wings in the sky, moving nimbly like a fly as he threw down lumps of starlight right at the star desolate hound's vital areas like eyes, mouth, and anus. The star desolate hound bounced around everywhere, but it was gradually not able to hide from Fang Yuan's crafty attacks and started to whine in pain. The star desolate hound had defensive wild goo on it. But facing a killer move like icy drill stardust, a defense from ordinary wild goo would not work, instead the defensive goo would rapidly die when facing icy drill stardust. Hai Lu Lan controlled her giant strength path phantom and stood up, as expected of a desolate beast. Hai Lu Lan sighed in her heart. The strength path killer move that had never failed her before was actually not able to resist the tyrannical strength of the star desolate hound. Especially this giant strength path phantom, which was the pinnacle transformation of her killer move, and yet was actually not a match against the star desolate hound in terms of strength. Since that is the case, then let me use self-strength immortal goo. Hai Lu Lan gave a sinister smile and was about to attack. Suddenly, familiar barks came down from the nearby two mountain peaks. Shortly afterwards, two female star desolate hounds charged into Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan's sight. Fang Yuan's movement slowed down, Hai Lu Lan's pupils shrunk, and as if they had identical thoughts in mind, they transmitted the same message to each other, run. 
Chapter 715, Diamond Soil. Three star desolate hounds chased as Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan retreated along the way. It was not that they could not defeat the three desolate beasts, but they would have to engage in fierce combat and expend a lot of effort to defeat them. As Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan were inside an unfamiliar environment like Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, they would not want to fight with their full strength randomly, especially not against these desolate beasts which they had met by chance, only a fool would do such a thing. Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan were experienced schemers, this trip of exploring Starry Sky Grotto Heaven needed to be handled with caution, they had to preserve their battle strength to deal with unexpected situations especially when the heavenly spirit of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven had not shown itself yet. The heavenly spirit controlled all aspects of the Grotto Heaven. When Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan entered, they would have been detected already. Fang Yuan led the way, flapping his wings continuously, he was extremely fast. He did not dare to fly at high altitude, he only flew near the ground. Hai Lu Lan was much slower than Fang Yuan, she was behind him as she deeply looked at his wings, thinking and comparing in her heart. Fang Yuan's current speed is not outstanding, I can reach it. But he can move and maneuver so agilely and precisely, he can swerve around the branches of the trees so freely. After nearly ten lie of flying, the three star desolate hounds behind them stopped and gave up on Hai Lu Lan and Fang Yuan, no longer chasing them. The two stopped at a tall tree and took a small rest to recover. Fang Yuan stood on the crown of the tree, trying to decipher their direction. The surrounding mountains were not far from each other, yet they were independent and distinct. Some mountain peaks had green pines growing on them, some had only shrubs. Some had no trees and only had weeds and wild flowers. All these were man-made arrangements. Nature would not have made things so organized. Fang Yuan could tell. The owner of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, Seven Star Child, had categorized these mountain peaks into independent areas to nurture different vegetation. This way, he could raise the productivity of specialized products. It seems that the owner of this Grotto Heaven had spent quite some effort on managing it. Hai Lu Lan walked over, standing beside Fang Yuan and observing the area. Fang Yuan instead frowned. This landscape was simply too different from the one in his memories. Did that mean that hundreds of years later, there would be a huge change to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven's terrain, causing it to be completely different after it broke apart and collapsed? This way, Fang Yuan's previous life's memories could not give him any precious help. Hai Lu Lan directed her gaze towards the small bat wings on Fang Yuan's back, asking with great interest, Your killer move is not bad, where did you buy it? According to the Snowy Mountain Alliance, Fang Yuan could not lie to Hai Lu Lan, but he could choose to not talk about it. However, true solid bat wings was an ordinary technique of Fang Yuan's, he did not need to hide it. He answered plainly, this killer move is based on an improvement of my previous killer move, suited for my immortal zombie body. If you want to use it, you will need to transplant a pair of bat wings onto your back. Hai Lu Lan heard this and frowned, though not because she was concerned over destroying her image, she pursued strength. The body of a desolate beast is also an immortal body. Just like the bodies of us Gu immortals, their bodies contain Tao marks and are closer to certain laws. Your pair of bat wings should not have the Tao marks of strength path, they are closer to wind path. Transplanting them casually like this, are you not afraid that there would be a conflict between strength path and wind path, resulting in your strength path killer moves weakening? Fang Yuan chuckled. You know about how reckless savage demon venerable can transform into all sorts of fierce beasts, right? Of course. Reckless savage demon venerable created transformation path. He was the progenitor of transformation path. Hai Lu Lan answered. The essence of transformation path is to transform one's own body into a fierce beast or plant and obtain their strength and abilities at the same time. A transformation path Gu Master can become a wind path bird, fire path tiger, or water path fish, using just one path to project countless paths. 
Why do their Tao marks not interfere with one another? Fang Yuan asked. Transformation path Gu masters who solely transformed their bodies had not truly ventured into transformation path. A truly successful transformation was not only changing one's appearance, but also gaining the beast's respective Tao marks. Gu immortals who become desolate beasts not only have the strength, defense, and speed of the desolate beast itself, they can even amplify the effect of Gu worms in their respective paths. That is because, every time they transform, they will turn into a single fierce beast, they would only have one type of Tao mark on their bodies, it is unlike you who has two types of Tao marks mixing together, like a Gu master trying to cultivate two paths. Furthermore, after they transform, they will use their relevant goo worms to cleanse their bodies, removing all of their current Tao marks, before they can transform into a fierce beast which has another Tao mark. Hai Lu Lan said. Fang Yuan laughed arrogantly. No, that is because they are not good enough yet, their methods are lacking. Reckless savage demon Venerable was not like this. He ate immemorial desolate beasts and formed desolate beast totems on his body, encompassing countless Tao marks in his body, allowing him to transform at will. When you were undergoing your tribulation, I obtained the true meaning infusions of the demon Venerable, I have already become a transformation path master. Hai Lu Lan was truly shocked. That is to say, you obtained pointers from Reckless Savage Demon Venerable, you have a method to balance different Tao marks? Fang Yuan nodded, but shook his head soon after. I am only at Master Realm, I can only balance three different Tao marks. I am also limited by physical transplantation and other restrictions, true solid bat wings can only have up to three pairs of wings, that is the greatest display of my current transformation path master realm attainment. Hai Lu Lan heard Fang Yuan's words and gained much interest in true solid bat wings. Sell this movement killer move to me, I will purchase it at a high price. Fang Yuan shook his head, rejecting her. He had modified this killer move after much effort, it was his unique method, how could he give it to someone else? Unless he no longer needed it in the future, then he would consider selling the simplified version. Hai Lu Lan was slightly disappointed that Fang Yuan rejected her, but she was not surprised. If their roles were swapped, she would have rejected him as well. Fang Yuan did not lack immortal essence stones currently. I finally understand why you want to kill star demon bats now. What does your information say? A star demon bat is nearby, Hai Lu Lan asked. Fang Yuan nodded. From my information, it is close by. But the terrain here is slightly different. Let's look around first. He had surveyed for a long time, but he could not confirm the location. The place in his memory was a rotten swamp with poisonous air. But here, there were mountains independent of each other, how could there be a rotten swamp? Two hours later, two figures were attacking a desolate beast. This desolate beast's body was transparent, like it was made of diamond, its figure resembled a bear, but it was as large as a mammoth. It was a diamond bear that was rarely seen in the five regions. It was Hai Lu Lan and Fang Yuan fighting the diamond bear. Take this. Fang Yuan flew in the air, his eight arms were moving around as they sent out lumps of starlight specks. The diamond bear stood up, waving its paws and smashing the starlight completely. Hai Lu Lan transformed into the strength path phantom giant again, she raised her leg and kicked at the diamond bear's belly. The diamond bear growled as its diamond-like body shined, Hai Lu Lan's giant strength path phantom's right leg broke. This diamond bear's body contains wild goo worms that counter my strength path giant. Hai Lu Lan was shocked, retreating immediately. Killer moves were not invincible, they had weaknesses and could be countered. But the diamond bear did not want to let Hai Lu Lan go, it pounced in her direction. Fang Yuan saw this and immediately rushed over, the starlight lumps in his hands were shot out more quickly, like the pelting of raindrops. At once, the diamond bear was unable to raise its head from the attacks. Here's a big one, enjoy it. Fang Yuan raised four of his arms up, summoning a huge icy drill stardust lump that he threw it down. 
With a loud explosion, the entire diamond bear was covered by the icy drill stardust. The diamond bear was assaulted by the stardust. It growled in pain. It had become greatly angered. Boom! At the next moment, it charged out of the starlight lump, flying into the sky. This bear could fly. Fang Yuan was the closest to it, caught off guard. He was hit by the diamond bear's raised paws. Bam! At the next moment, Fang Yuan was like a cannonball. He flew out, crashing into dozens of large trees before stopping. His zombie blood was pouring out, with two of the arms used to block the bear paw having been cut off and three were fractured. Fang Yuan's mouth twitched. Accidents were bound to happen when fighting desolate beasts. Desolate beasts were not like goo immortals, they did not have much intelligence, but as for which wild goo they had in their bodies, one could not tell upon first contact. Like earlier, the diamond bear actually dispelled High Lu Lan's strength path phantom and flew into the air, causing heavy injuries to Fang Yuan. Only after suffering some injuries did Fang Yuan and High Lu Lan learn that the diamond bear had very powerful goo worms on it. Not only were there goo worms that countered the strength path phantom, it even had flying goo that could raise such a heavy body into the air. Retreat, Fang Yuan shouted to Hai Lu Lan. Hai Lu Lan had the intention to retreat already, she stopped her killer move and escaped with Fang Yuan. The diamond bear did not chase after them, it picked up Fang Yuan's two arms and placed them into its mouth, chewing. Crack, crack. The diamond bear's teeth were sharp. They easily broke Fang Yuan's immortal zombie arms. It continued to chew, turning the arms into minced meat. The green zombie blood flowed out from the space between the diamond bear's teeth and an intense stench spread out. The diamond bear swallowed the zombie meat with a weird expression, but it immediately opened its mouth and vomited the food that it had just eaten. What a terrible taste! The diamond bear had a constipated expression as it looked at Fang Yuan's remaining arm with disgust, slamming it into a mountain rock before moving back to its cave that was at the mountain peak grumpily. A moment later, Fang Yuan and Hai Lu Lan sneakily returned. Fang Yuan picked up the amputated arm. After verifying it, he placed it at a wound on his body. He used healing goo worms, and with the recovery ability of the immortal zombie, the amputated arm quickly connected to his wound. As for the remaining arm, it was chewed up by the diamond bear, Fang Yuan could not use it, he sighed and had to regenerate it himself. The immortal zombie body was not a mortal body, to regrow limbs, six to eight hours were needed. This was not simply a regrowth of body parts, the relevant strength path Dao marks had to be replenished. Hai Lu Lan looked at the cave entrance at the highest point of the mountain. In that cave, there are at least 15 kilograms of diamond soil left. Diamond soil was formed from the feces of the diamond bear, it was filled with rich nutrients and was one of the soils that could be sold for a high price in treasure yellow heaven. Not long ago, Fang Yuan had come to this mountain peak with Hai Lu Lan. While Fang Yuan attracted the bear out of the cave, Hai Lu Lan sneaked in and took hundreds of kilograms of diamond soil. They were worth at least 30 immortal essence stones. Fang Yuan shook his head. 15 kilograms of diamond soil is not worth the risk. The first time was fine, but if we try a second time, with even more animosity, the diamond bear might not let us off. The diamond bear is sturdy and tough, we will need to pay a huge price to kill it. My goal is the star demon bat, since it is not in this direction, let's try another direction.